Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the HTTP error. So for example, let's say that when you are having a request failure or something like that. So if you want to handle that request failure, so what you will try to do? So how we can handle over the HTTP request failures and also how we can handle this error handling concept in the Angular 19 or 18. So whatever it may be. So when working with normal HTTP requests in Angular, so you may be encounter two types of failures you'll be having. So one is network connection error. So when working with, uh, let's try to show you one second. Yeah. So one is when working with HTTP request, you will encode two type of errors. So here, so two type of errors. So one is, so normally network connection issue. So if I try to show you here, so one is network connection errors. These, these occur when the request doesn't reach the server due to issues like no internet connection or timeout. In this case, we will get the, we, we will get the HTTP status code as zero. The error property is an instance of the progress event. So you will get the error property as an instance of the progress event. So the another one which you will try to get it is, so there is nothing but the backend error. So here you will get another one is the backend error. So these occur when the request reaches the backend, but the server fails to process it correctly. In this case, what you will try to get? The HTTP status code is set by the server. Example 404, 500, these are all the things you will be getting. And the error property contains the response from the server. Whatever the response that comes from the server, you will contain it in the error property. So the Angular HTTP client returns uh, uh, HTTP client. So whatever the things you are trying to use it, the Angular HTTP client returns all the errors wrapped in the HTTP error response. So we can handle these errors effectively using the RxJS operators like catch error and retry. So how we can use this catch error and retry? Let's try to see this in, one, in this one. So the first one is the catch error proper operator. So how we can use this catch error operator? So what is this catch error operator? Key concepts and uh, uh, operators for this one. The catch error operator is used to intercept and handle errors in an observable stream so that it can transform the error into a value suitable for the UI or log the error or perform any side effects. And then another one is a retry operator. So when we use this retry operator, so retry operator automatically retries a failed request a specified number of times. It is useful for handling the transient issues like network, network interruptions, something like that. So I will try to show you the, some simple example of how to handle the errors in Angular 18 or 19 standalone component. So let's try to see one by one. So I will close this one. So the theoretical part is finished. So let's try to create. So here for this one, so I will be creating a new component that is nothing but error handler. So let's try to create this one. So after creating this, we will try to create an HTTP request and we'll handle the error case situation. So here the component has been created. Let's go to the app.component.es file. So we will be having here app.component.es file and also app.component.html file also will be having. And here I will use app-error-handler, that's it. So now in the ts file also we need to save it. So let's close this one all. And now let's open this error handler dot component dot ts file and also error handler dot component dot html file. Let's try to implement this one. So here what I will try to do it is so here I will have from d1 no, sorry the do and in this I will write the h1 and in this h1 the error handling example so just i will try to give like this and here i will have a button and here i will use fetch data here i can use something like click is equal to fetch data i am using the fetch data here that's it so now let's go to the app error handler dot file and in this one i will use the fetch data and in this fetch data, so let's try to implement this. So for this fetch data, so what I want to do it is, so let's say that we will be having a data. So I'm keeping it as an any, I don't want to use anything. And here we will have an error message so that we can show that error message, which is of type string or null is equal to null. Okay. So this is the error message. So now another one, what I want to do it is, first one at the time of doing the fetch data, I will use this dot error message is equal to null. Okay, clearing the previous errors and this dot data is equal to null. So I am clearing the previous data also. So fine. First one, I will try to have a constant uh, API URL. So let's try to take the API URL. So correct type of API, API URL, I am taking it. So this is the API JSON placeholder, which we are using uh, as a common thing. So now let's inject the HTTP constant HTTP is equal to inject of HTTP client. 
so I have ejected this HTTP plane and here we can use this dot HTTP dot and here I can use dot get okay and here we can send the API URL okay dot pipe and we need to use the RxJS operators so first one is so let's you can use the retry operator retry of three so retry operator what it will try to do so if you get any errors or anything it will try to retry three times so retry up to three times for transient errors and you can have a catch error okay and here you will be getting the error which is of type http error response okay and this one you can use something like we will use some other ops outside method so now here I can use this dot handle error or otherwise directly we can use method in such a way that this dot handle sorry handle error so we will be calling this method and this method will be something like handle error of error and here I can use error response or otherwise HTTP error response that's it so this is our method and here we are calling this method that's it so now what i want to do here i will try to set this uh, error message and here whichever the things you are having so we need to throw the error so here i will return throw error sorry throw error and this one returns a method new error sorry new error new error of and here i can say an error occurred please try again later so this is the written message which i am trying to show so now what i was trying to do here so we got the uh, http request and now here i will i will try to show you that one also so now here what i will do it is so here we got this one dot subscribe so we can use the dot subscribe and here we will be getting that uh, what I can do is uh, response okay you will get the response and here I can do uh, this dot data is equal to response I can use this this dot data, data is equal to response and another one what you can do it is so here in the subscription so what you can do it is so you can use this two types of things so here I can use the next which is uh, response okay and uh, uh, what I can say is so this is an object Okay. so you will get it as an object okay so this is one object and here you will be getting another one is error and complete so here you can have an error which you will get an error and here console dot error console dot error you can show it as an error Hun hand error and here you can show the error here that's it so now this is the Thing which I want to so here we'll try to handle this uh, handle error thing so now let's say that you will be getting the error status so here we'll try to check the error status okay so let's try to check the error sorry dot status now let's go here and here we'll try to do it so whenever I try to fetch the data so we are able to get successfully fetch the data and we need to show the output for this one so here uh, what I can do it is so here in this one so let's try to fetch the data and also let's try to handle that one so now here what I will try to do so whenever we are able to get this data means so here I can show in such a way that button is there at the bottom so here do I can use ng if or otherwise you can use normal if also data is there means then I can show something like data json okay and this one json should be imported something like json pipe so here you will be having in the imports where is this imports yeah json pipe now and also we need to import the common module also let's import this common module common module so i have imported this common module and here also we are able to see this one so now let's see the output if i try to click on this one so we are able to get this data and i will try to add a um, class is equal to data so which in the css i will try to show you that data so whenever you are getting the dot data means i will show it as in color green okay now let's try to see the output for this one so now if i click on this fetch data we are able to get it 
So now when you are getting an error, we need to show that particular error message. So what is the type of error message you'll be getting? So in the next video, I will try to show you how we can display the errors and how we, whenever you are having a network connection failure or something like that, how we can handle that situation. I will try to show you it in the next video. Hope you understood about this error handling thing. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.